Hello guys, hello everyone. So today's lesson is from MS Excel, Microsoft Excel, and it is about the functions in Excel. So to get a start about uh, the functions, I'll be uh, telling you the parts uh, or the create creating a function and the parts, the basic parts you uh, you consist with uh, the uh, function. So I'll declare something like this. So this function contains three parts okay the first part is as you can see here is the equal sign almost every function is contained an equal sign in the very beginning of that function okay so and this next one you can see uh, three letters as sum or the sum so this is the function name so from sum you would get the total and that is called as a function name okay and within the brackets you can see some um, highlighted uh, cell numbers so that is the argument i have declared okay so those are the three parts of a function uh, the equal sign the function name and the argument okay okay so i'll be uh, talking uh, like about more about this argument okay so I'll type that one again. So when you click and drag a set of cells, okay, a set of cells, scales, as you can see inside this bracket, you contain D1, the cell number D1 and the colons and D3. That means this colon, uh, colons uh, represent that from D1 cell to D3 cell. That means it will uh, it will declare a set of a range of cells. Okay, so when you add columns in between the two cells, you are gonna type. It will uh, declare the range of the cells you have selected. Okay, so with this with uh, with columns that is declared. Okay, and uh, I'll, I'll declare something else. So when you select when you need to select uh, cells one by one I mean like this first of all I select this one okay and you need to select another cell which, which is there some, somewhere else and, and another one and another one which, which they are in different places when you I mean when you need to uh, declare a range with the, which is closer to one another you can select uh, easily like click and drag but when you need to add uh, separately uh, some cells which are very far away from each other you can't uh, add that as uh, I mean as a range okay so we need to add them separately so in this case we need to select the first uh, cell like this cell number or the cell and simply add a comma and select the other cell you need to add and also if you need, if you, if you need to add another cell simply add a comma and at the other uh, cell and you need one on the another one you can select like this and simply select it so like that you will get the uh, uh, function okay so those are the uh, i was going to explain to you about the, uh, about the arguments so now let's go to uh, inserting a function okay so first of all i'll be i'll i'll, I'll teach you guys about uh, the uh, easiest method okay so the easiest method, uh, there's, there's, there's two methods. I've been teaching you the first one. I, I, I don't know either what is easy. It depends on, on, the, on you guys. So first, one, first of all, I'll, I, I need to get the total of these cells. Cell A1, B1, C1 and D1. I need to get the total of these numbers here in the E1 cell. Okay. So I'll, I, I uh, click the uh, E1 cell and in the ribbon, top ribbon, you can see formulas, uh, uh, option called formulas. Here in the left right, left corner, uh, you can see another option as insert function. Simply click on it. Okay. So there are, there are a, a, a set of uh, recently used oh, uh, set of functions here. Okay. So yeah, you can select the category most recently used or all. If you get the all, you, you will get the every uh, function here. So I'll just select most recently here. 
and you can select all the uh, any any function only i need to get the sum now so uh, i'll click on sum and simply click ok here and here i'll need to add the uh, range the range of the cells i need here okay so if i uh, select uh, if you need to select uh, if that uh, range in this excel click this uh, top arrow okay click here and select the cells you need to add like this okay i need to get the uh, total of these numbers okay so and then click this arrow again will come there okay so uh, then this number number two is the logic values and text i ignored in the cells included typed as arguments okay so you don't need to add this uh, for surely so just select okay then you will get the total here okay so that's the first method where you can add a formula so or to my opinion there is another simple way so i'll delete this function and i'll show you show you all, show you all again so this this is so easy but in this case you need to know the exact function you need to add here okay so first of all as i uh, told earlier in where i started the lesson i told there are three parts of a function first one is what the first one is we need to add an equal sign so simply i let the equal sign and i need to get the total so uh, the total function we i need to we i need to get the total the function is sum just type sum okay then you will get a drop down like this there are some uh, set of uh, function which, which are which are starting with sum or which are which consist of sum so you need this one the first one is the one where you can get the total so simply double click on it or either you can tap okay you can press the tab when you press the tab automatically the uh, bracket will be open so where you can type the argument so i need to get the total uh, from a1 cell b1 cell c1 cell and d1 so i'll use the the that that colons method okay argument i'll select these cells and simply that's all simply press enter there you get the total so this is the uh, the, the 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 next method so that is uh, where I, where you can uh, select the sum they get the sum okay so they are uh, this the uh, they are set of functions here okay so i'll go to some uh, i'll i'll teach you some uh, text functions here okay so there are logarithms one or mathematical one and here i'm going to teach you some about some uh, text functions okay so first of all i'll just type something here as excel okay the type it as excel okay so uh, the first the first function i uh, have seen the first text function i have selected is the left left function okay left left mean uh, the left hand side okay <laughs> so in this one uh, you this left sum is you can use the left sum zone when you want to extract the leftmost characters from a string okay from a cell okay so think like this i'll i'll, I'll just show you show you all how to uh, do this function and see what happens here okay so i'll type the equal sign as always and the function i'm going to use is left i'll type left then simply tap there and i need to get the uh, I need to hear here they say there are two uh, functions inside this argument the first one is the text the text where you need to get this okay so i'll select this one and then add the comma then here the second option is selected uh, the numerical characters so i'll type like, just like as two okay i'll type two then simply press enter there what happens the uh, they they will uh, automatically type the uh, the leftmost characters or the character in the relevant cell i have selected here i i typed 
left this fu the, fun uh, the function is left okay so this a8 means this uh, cell where i need to select here i selected this one and i added a comma and typed 2 when i type 2 they'll get uh, the first characters they 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 will read from the leftmost corner so here the leftmost corner is the starting word the, the word start so the first two letters are e and x here it is typed so just think i need to get the uh, first four letters simply have equal left when you type lef the left first function will be selected i'll double click on there and select the text here and add a comma and i need to get the uh, four characters from the leftmost code so i'll type four and simply press enter here i'll get the four letters e x c e so that's the left function and i'll go to the uh, there's another one okay you will be wondering why is this left and there is something there need to be something like uh, something as right also so when you add left here we get the left uh, we get the characters from the leftmost corner of this word so if you need to get the uh, letters from the rightmost corner of this word i'll just uh, right type okay right equal sign then i'll type r i g h then you will see the uh, the formula you need, the function you need, simply tab and select the text as uh, earlier and comma and I'll type 3. There you get the three characters from the rightmost corner of this cell. Here it is E no, C E L. There you go. That's very easy. So if, if any time you need to uh, get the characters from some letters, was a, a sentence or anything or, or anything a phrase or anything you just uh, type the left function or the right function okay so that's the fun fun first text function and the next function i have selected is the length yeah i need to i just uh, imagine you need to get the length of a word or a phrase or anything something okay i'll i'll, I'll, I'll just have like this cell uh, spreadsheet here. okay excel spreadsheet okay so i need to get the length of this uh, this two words in this cell okay i'll i'll, I'll check the uh, length 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 okay there's 17 characters here i have counted okay that was so hard for for me to count like this i need to work in there so very concentrated so the easiest way is to uh, add the uh, function so as uh, before every function you need to type the equal and you need to type len simply len only len okay and type and simply just click on the cell where you need to uh, find the length okay select that and simply tab there you get the length of this uh, phrase okay so that's so easy so i'll go to the next function which is uh, mid function okay in this one it is used to extract the characters from the middle of a string middle of a phrase or something okay so i'll type like this i'll, I'll just get back to get uh, take it to work so i'll type equal here equal sign and mid i'll type mid mid is the uh, function here and tab and here you need to declare the text where you need to start okay where you need to uh, get get you need to extract here select this one i i'm going to select that one and add a comma so here you need to add the uh, start number okay where you need to start the uh, phrase because you are going to extract something from the middle of this phrase okay so i'll i'll, I'll type three Okay, the start number is 3. Okay, and add a comma and num character. Num caps means uh, number of characters. Uh, I'm going to type 
the number of characters you need to get, you need to extract from that phrase. So I'll type like eight, okay, eight. And simply, if you if you want, you can uh, close the bracket and press enter. There you go. Three and four. There you go. You get uh, the eight characters from the second place, like this. Okay. So that's so easy. If you need to get uh, if you need to extract something from in middle of uh, within the middle of a uh, phrase, the mid function here mid the mid function is the easiest way. Okay. So I'll go to the next one, which is the the find find function. Okay. So I'll type Excel here also. Okay. I'll find. Uh, I'm going to find the x. Uh, oh, I'll I'll say. The simple e i'm going to type simple e i'm going to find how many simple e's are within this phrase okay that is the uh, the purpose of this function okay so i'll simply type equal and type find the name of this function is find okay tap there i'm going to find which one i'm going to find the which letter i'm going to find which letter is find text means that so I'm going to find the simple e number of simple e's inside that. So add a comma and within which text you need to declare within which text you are going to find the number of simple e's are there. So I'm going to select this one, okay, and add a comma. And here start number means where you are going to start this. You can add this, or you can either not add this also. I'm I'm not going to add this one this time. Okay, so then you will not get a start number here Starting number of character. Okay, so I'll simply enter here. You don't get a starting character So I get one two three four three uh, four simple is are here with that Okay, I'll move on to the uh, next Function which is the proper function. Okay proper function uh, capitalize each word in the string that is it converts the case into proper case okay it converts uh, the relevant text into a proper text here okay so i'll just type like uh, something in uh, simple letters here okay uh, i mean uh, like this hello this is excel okay I'm going to type as hello this is it say so I need to get this phrase proper proper in a proper case okay so you can see the starting letters aren't simple and like that so I need to get this to a proper case so this function is named as proper proper and tap there and select the text where you need to add this function simply press enter see it every uh, starting letter of this word is now capitalized okay so that's very easy if you if there's a big sentence you need if you need to uh, capitalize every starting word just use the proper function there okay so let's move on to the next function which is repeat repeat function okay so this repeat function here when you want to uh, you want a certain text to be repeated certain number of times when you need to repeat a certain phrase a certain number of times okay so like i, I select this one and I i'll show you okay first you need to type equal then r e p t okay r e p t only r e p t and tab then you need to select the text okay here select the text like this and add a comma and number of times now you need to declare the number of times you need to repeat this phrase. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just type three. Okay, so here you can see this phrase is repeated three times here. One, two, three, three times there. So that's the repeat uh, repeat function. Okay, okay. So let's move on to the next function, the next repeat function, which is trim trim function. Okay, so uh, trim function. Uh, this is uh, with this removes the unnecessary spaces from a particular uh, string. Okay, I'll, I'll just add more more spaces here like this. Okay, 
so i have added some more spaces in between every let in between every word okay so i need to correct this one so you simply you need to uh, select the uh, you need to add the for um, at the trim function here t t r i m okay simply t r i m and then tab and select the text you need to trim and simply press enter there you go all the unnecessary spaces will be deleted and the phrase will be nicely typed in the uh, in the uh, cell there yeah. okay so that's the trim function and let's go to the upper case function or the upper upper function here i just change all this one okay okay it is nice now so you need to uh, you as you can see this whole text this whole text is in lower case letters or simple letters when you need to make uh, when you need to uh, type this whole text in capitalized letter you need to add the upper case function so simply at the equal sign and type upper type up a u p p e r upper function and tab you need to select the cell select the string you need and press enter there you go all the letters in this phrase or this function is now in upper case okay as this one if you need as of this you, if you need to get uh, this uh, fun, uh, this uh, this phrase in uh, simple letters or lower case letters uh the next uh, the next function is the lower lower function here you, i'm going to type the lower as the function name tab there and i'll select this text and press enter there you go all the letters in this phrase is now in lower case okay so that's the lower case and the upper case function and here i go to uh, substitute function Okay, the next function is substitute function. Here, this function, this function helps to replace existing text of a of a uh, declared uh, text with a uh, with a new particular string. Okay, I'll show you this. Okay, simply at the equal sign and then uh, type substitute. When you type subs, then you will get the uh, substitute formula. Just tap there and here. There are several declarations here, several arguments here. So the first argument is the text. Text means the relevant uh, string or the relevant so a cell you you are going to uh, do this at this function. Okay. So I'll select this one. You go and add a comma and the old text. Old text means I need uh, just think that I need to uh, make this old simple yes. And I need to replace the all the simple is with capital D letter. Okay, so I need to uh, replace this simple E one. Okay, so I need to remove all these simple E letters. I'll just type within double quotations, double commas, like this. And again, I'll uh, add a comma. Then you'll get the new text. New text means the, uh, the what, what character you need to replace there. So. Uh, Assume that I need to add capital D's, so that is also you must uh, add within double quotations. Okay, then you go another comma and the instance number. Okay, so you need to, you don't need to add this instance number actually. So simply close the bracket and press enter. Here you go. All this, all these e simple e letters are now. Replaced with capital D. There you go. Hello in hello, there's a E that is now D. In Excel, there's two simple E's. As you can see, both are now replaced with capital D letters. So that's the sub substitute uh, function. Okay. The next text function is the concatenate function. Okay. In this case, uh, it helps us to join the text of two or more cells. Okay. Two or more cells. So, uh, as an example, I'll type hi, how are you? Okay. 
I type hi, how are you? So I need to get the all the separated words into one set. In this case, you can use concatenate. Here I'll, I'll type concatenate and here you can see the function. Double click on it and select the text separate like this add comma, comma, like this. With thin commas. And then just simply close the bracket and there you go. All the text which are separated uh, in these uh, cells will come to one cell here. So that's about the uh, functions in MS Excel. So I hope you guys learned a lot in from this. And thank you guys. Mm -hmm.